Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. My name is Helen. I absolutely love everything and all things that smell good and make you feel good. All right, so let's go ahead and just hop right into this video. We have a lot to share with you all today. So grab your popcorn, a little sip of like water, some good healthy juice, okay? Whatever type of juice you like to drink. <laughs> and let's get to it. So I'm going to share with you all just my September recap. The goal for September for me was um, basically a no buy like around the whole entire house. My just fragrances just no buy. End up still purchasing a few things here and there, found some things on a really good deal. And at the end of the day, I did amazing. Okay, amazing on my budget. Okay, kudos to me. All right, so we're going to start with candles. So I have a few candles I purchased in September and I actually burned quite a bit. And then I end up going towards the wall plugs at the end of September because Bath & Body Works did the $2.95 sale, something like that. And I picked up a bunch of the Wicked Vanilla. So that's really what's um, around my house right now, the Wicked Vanilla. And it smells amazing. Just to put that out there. All right. So um, this is the Vaquita Dolphin from the Sanctuary, which is underneath the Scentbird uh, website. And this one burned pretty good, pretty even. I normally burn this on the side of the tub when I'm taking a bath at night. And when I'm done, I open the door. It just flows right into my bedroom. So it's a beautiful scent. This is like underneath, I would say, it's almost like a luxury candle because they're not cheap at all. But it's a really good candle. The throw is amazing, cold and hot. So I definitely recommend this if you like that aquatic type of feel. And yeah, if you're familiar with... Um, Walking on Air from, uh, I can't think of the name of the, the company right now, Kate Spade, Walking on Air, then you would, you will know. This is, this is so summer, beautiful, aquatic, green, fresh, unisex scent, but it's soft and powdery as well. This is good. Love this candle. A really good candle. Love it. All right. So I picked this one up recently. I actually went back and got another one. And this one is the Toasted Pecan and bourbon so it's the multi-layer candle from aldi and this feels so good oh my goodness now the one thing about this you see this it's starting to burn like this so we're probably just gonna go ahead and transfer this to my wax warmer so i have a wax warmer it's actually a coffee cup warmer and when i start to see candles start to do that dip i don't have time to play with foil and all the things i'm just gonna sit this on a wax warmer and this will probably last me forever because it takes longer to burn when it's on wax warmer and longer for the oils to like dissipate or whatever than it, it does burning it with like fire. So, oh my goodness. Y'all, this is so good. Evidently, everybody liked them because every Aldi I go to now, they're gone. They were gone in like a week. And there were several scents with the layer of fragrances like this. So, $5.99. Five, and when I say you burn it for like, let's just say I burn it for an hour and I have this two-story home. The whole entire home is filled. If I burn it upstairs in this open space, you can smell it downstairs, everybody's room. It is loud and it is amazing. All right, so another one I picked up was the Smoke Caramel Praline from um, Aldi. They had several that they put out and I wish I had got more of these. These went like blink your eye, they were gone. I'm hoping they bring some more of these out. I mean, fall just just hit like the other day like are you serious and as you see look at this wax it's even burned for $4.99 like are you kidding me this is crazy this is crazy how this throws so well opposed to me paying 20 bucks for a Bath and Body Works camera yeah this one is so good so salt, uh, smoke caramel praline amazing definitely recommend this if you can find these at Aldi especially for the price and then the last one is the bourbon and wild mint so i told you all well on the other channel my main channel that this reminds me of a like an old-fashioned like one of those drinks where it's like cognac that's been sitting yeah this is strong though this is a strong cognac drink with with orange bitters like the whole brown sugar thing the whole um yeah sidecar something like that one of those type of drinks this is good so I did see more of these in store because I think that people are not into that bourbon, but it's definitely a bourbon with mints and like orange bitters and stuff like that. This is really good. So I ended up getting two of these. I already burnt one. Um, you see, I'm almost done with this one. Yeah. So here's, this is where I'm at and who with these, like I burnt these this month. I loved them. They were really, really good. 
So I definitely recommend those from Aldi and the one from Sanctuary. Sanctuary also has, I want to say like three other candles with the other lines of fragrances that they have for like where the proceeds go towards saving like dolphins and whales and other animals. Okay, so definitely check them out. Yeah, definitely check them out. All right, so let's move forward. So September, September, I was able to participate in a chat uh, with Twisted Lily and a live that they hosted Andrea Mack. So I first found out about Andrea Mack a couple, couple months ago or something, like maybe beginning of the year when Twisted Lily announced that they was bringing her fragrances to their site, right? So I went and looked it up to see what kind of fragrances she had and who she was. And I learned about her being an artist, blah, blah. And then her bottles were matte black looking like. And I wasn't so sure if I was going to be interested in anything like that because I can't see through the bottle. And then the way her notes were described in the, when you go to look up on like Frank Granska or on her site, it was like, oh, I don't know about none of this. Like this seems like really niche, niche and out of my, you know, comfort zone. I am so glad I was able to participate and watch her live. She is a very interesting human being, okay? I'm talking about this woman here, started off as an artist and used fragrance within her artistry. And then from there, people were asking about her fragrances. And then from there, she started creating a fragrance line when originally she's just an artist at heart, right? And now her fragrances are out there for everyone to purchase. And like she says, she's her worst critic or whatever. It's the story. It's the story behind each fragrance that got me, that sold me. Like, I know that her pricing on her bottles is a little bit it's up there, okay? With the amount that you receive in a bottle. Listen, these things are good. These fragrances are good. I already have my favorites, which is um, Smart Dual and Ceramic. So the crazy thing is, like, when you think of ceramic, you think of something like, cold right it smells like it smells like an all-white kitchen to me and there's a glass of ice like sitting on the counter and that's it it is so simple yet complex and i love it so i went through all these i tested them all i said i was going to film it but i think i'm just going to share some of my favorites um with you all and go from there her original fragrance that is one of the ones that is well known and I think it's, I want to say cloche or something. I can't think of the name of it, but I didn't like that one. It was only like two or three where I was like, oh, no, this is not for me. And one was just masculine. It smelled like a cowboy. And then the rest were just very unique, extremely unique and fragrances that you would have to spray on yourself and wait for later. She also has like a fragrance line plus an straight line. And man, these are good. These are long lasting. <laughs> these are good. And they're very unique. Like it's interesting to see. To hear her story, spray the fragrance, and be like, yeah, okay. Because she had one that reminds me of eating ice. Like that smell of eating ice. I know I'm not anemic, okay. But it's that ice, um, crushed ice like sensation. And it's crazy. So anyway, I loved it. So you'll see more information on her fragrances from me really soon. I plan on creating some shorts. And going from there but so far i know uh, smart ceramic dual i would love to own the fragrances um light source was a really good one too she actually lives uh, where she's uh really close to active volcanoes so her some of her fragrances are inspired by like some of the experiences she had like the scent of like that burning um ash and the the rock and the lava, all those things. And you can get that as you smell the fragrances. Yeah, that, that was good. Yeah, Craft, Smart, and Dual. Um, yeah, so there's a couple of them she created. Just imagine her having this huge, like, artwork. But the artwork was made out of strips, like the strips that we would sniff for fragrances or whatever, like the fragrance tester strips. And you would grab one as you check out her artwork right and each one is this scent and people were like where's the scent at i need to buy this scent and, and she started bottling fragrances the whole thing uh from the making of the bottle to the making of the fragrances she has her hands in all of it okay so i can tell you this the bottles are very like unique in design and the bottles definitely represent her well because you get a side of masculinity and a side of femininity all in one bottle like it's like straight on one side a little curve on this side and it definitely represents 
um, both sides. So, come on, Andrea. Listen, that live was good. She is real. Like, she's really cool. I follow her on social media because she's always posting about the stars and the galaxy or whatever, whatever. Because, I mean, she's right there where she can see everything. Um, yeah. So, it's, that, it's pretty cool to experience uh, people's um, light through their own eyes. Like, you know, whatever. But follow her on Instagram. She's a very interesting woman. And definitely see if you can get your hands on some samples or discovery kits from Twisted Lily. If you're interested in trying these fragrances. Because do not listen to the notes. Like, I'm so shocked at some of these notes. And, like, some of her fragrances say, literally say ice. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I was like, what? And then when I got out, I was like, oh, my God, my mouth is watering. Like, what is going on? Like, this is crazy, right? So, anyway, experienced that in September. Twistle has been doing really good with hosting um, fragrance like seminars and classes so we can better understand the fragrance line or the the companies themselves instead of just getting a sample smelling and going google do your own research it's good to see the artists themselves or the fragrance nose or whoever the creator themselves you know tell you their story and how they began and it's to see their passion right through the way they speak andrea mack sold me yeah, so I'll definitely be getting purchases from her. Okay. All right. So next, I was able to experience these fragrances because a lovely viewer sent them to me. Well, shout out to Eagle Lover. And um, so it all started because I purchased a few of these dupes for the Mason Alhambra line. And the one that uh, sparked it all was Exclusive Rose. This is so good. This, And I remember saying, I don't know if this smells like the original. I don't care. This is good. I'm obsessed with it. Like yada, yada, yada. And then I received a ton of these in the mail. So the one I have been really enjoying, I had so down. So I was like, oh, this is expensive. Carolina Herrera Tuberose. So as you see, these are the dupes of um, the Carolina Herrera line. Um, what is it called? Confidential line. So this one I really enjoyed. I went ahead and put this back because I was like, oh, we can't use it all for in. Okay. And I also enjoy the Burning Rose, which I said they smell pretty much just alike. This one right here takes a while to get down to the base, and this one gets down faster. But when you smell them on each arm, they're so similar. I would say like 95%. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I spent that. I, I think I purchased that for like 20 something dollars. Yeah. Girl, just the bottle alone was worth the $20. Okay. So then um, Iris Empire is on my list to purchase one day. I'll just be on the hunt. And if they ever pop up on the gray market, which they are on the gray market currently on fragrancenet.com. Um, they just still expensive. <laughs> I'm just not, you know, I've just been really doing good by not buying a lot of fragrances. Anyway, so I really want this one. I really want Bronze Tonka as well as the Gold um myrrh absolute obsessed with this one obsessed so i'll probably be wearing these during the fall and just to get a good wear of them and enjoy them and then when they're over they're over and if i if i can afford you know to buy the bottle and pull the trigger then i will okay so let's get into some more fragrances that were sent to me in september i'm so grateful because <laughs> i wouldn't buy nothing so this helped me out with this craving for something new all right so lx no, it's Lux S Beauty sent me these travel sprays. And what they sent me was Mancera's Roses Vene, which I will be attending a party that I attend every year for Christmas. And it's like a girlfriend and gumbo thing. But the theme this year is a few of your favorite things. And it has to equal to $50. So this is actually going into that kit as a gift with like whatever else random things because that's one of my favorite fragrances. And then I received the one that says, who is Elijah Nomad is the, and you see, I sprayed this a little bit. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, that, this is good. <laughs> this is good. This is a good way to see if, you know, these fragrances that you're craving really want when you wear them, I wanted to wear that again. So that let me know, okay, you really want this fragrance. You really may bite the bullet for this one. Okay. I like this little travel spray. It's plus uh, Lux S Beauty has a ton of like designer niche just like kind of some a few hard to find yeah i love it so and then this one was new to me this one is uh opus one but this is a squeeze temptation yeah look at this 
Yeah, I put this in my purse one day and sprayed it and got so many compliments. This is a good one. I don't know if I need it, okay? It's expensive. I probably won't ever buy it, but I at least get to experience that. I think it's like 30 sprays, so I'll probably wear it in like November, basically, because it's a darker scent. All right. Now, for the month of September, I had Sphinx. Which one is this? Um, Domicina was my purse spray and the coconut daiquiri. But as you see, this was, yeah, if I just felt like I need to top off or if I ran out the house and didn't have anything because I'm literally running to the post office or something, this was just in my purse to spray. And it's not much left. Did you know that Sphinx actually has a new fragrance coming out? Something, cupcake or something? Yeah, I saw that and was like, you know, it's the design of the site. It is the packaging that gets me every time. So there's still two fragrances I want from them that's full packaging that I had told myself I'm getting before December. Okay, hold on, just hold on. All right, fast forward. Uh, these are the two fragrances I actually purchased this month. And this one is Paradise Moon, and this one is Blushing Sands. And this is from the Estee Lauder brand. And I told you I've been wanting this one for a while. Paradise Moon, and then I just picked up Blushing Sands, which is more of a unisex fragrance and um yeah in the beginning it's a little masculine but i think it's like wet and wet i love these these are good this is this is good i was like okay so i'm so glad i got this i'm glad i got it on sale yeah i just been spraying y'all because <laughs> i've been wanting this one i should have got the bigger bottle but i have so many fragrances i'm trying not to buy like large 100 ml bottles because i don't want them to sit there and go bad and my cabinets on the side of my beds are so dark. I literally had to sit down the stool and just comb through them and be like, okay, what's in here? Because, oh, I forgot about you. Oh, I need to wear you type of thing. So, yeah. Anyway, this is a really good deal. got this from the Cosmetic Company Store. And there's two more from the Estee Lauder lines I want to get. And my collection will be complete from this. Okay? Y'all know I also have the other one that I like to wear in spring. So, all right. So, speaking of fragrances that someone sent me they also sent me the fragrance to go along with that candle and this is the vaquita dolphin look how much i spray <laughs> y'all this was so this is so good and aquatic i'm telling y'all this reminds me of k spade walking on air this is so good and so pretty so aquatic um and very fresh and clean like it just smells like fresh out the shower clean aquatic green white floral type of situation this is so good and yeah i was you know what I, i'm not a fan of the packaging i am not a fan of this packaging i don't know why it just seems so like um something i would see at gap like around at the counter like those type of bottles uh, but i get it the fragrance is good the nose behind the fragrances are really good like known fragrance um makers whatever you want to call them and they kind of like, for me, skipped on the packaging so that that funding that would normally send, spend on packaging went towards a good cause. So it's like, you get a really good fragrance, but the packaging is like, eh. But I know where the money's going because they actually post daily. They, the thing changes of how much money was donated or collected to go towards these funds or how much money they put towards the fund of saving these extinct or uh, becoming extinct animals mammals okay yeah vaquita dolphin beautiful aquatic scent oh my god for those who like those softer more wearable scents in the wear in the workplace that aren't able to wear those louder more boisterous girl that's for you all right so let's move forward my lips is popping for him so y'all know i got this yesterday city lips and i told y'all i would try it from the city beauty whatever it is and um I have it on now. Do my lips look plump? Mm, I didn't really feel it this time. But I did it this morning. I could feel like a little tingle. Girl, this, <laughs> I like this. It's glossy too. It's not really sticky, but I know it's there. And it's not doing that sticky stringy stuff. <laughs> I might find me another lip gloss. You know, I'm going to try all the stuff they sent me. Just know that. All right, so let's get into the fragrances. I found myself gravitating towards this September. It wasn't a lot, 
I kind of used what I was sent. Like I used a lot of the travel sprays, the samples I was sent. I was playing in Andrea Mac samples for like a whole week. So I really wasn't big on using a lot of fragrances this month. However, there's a few fragrances that stood out and one I said I was going to empty. Let's start with the one I was going to empty because we ain't got but another day or two before it's, it's over and it's time for October. And that's why I sell leave. Um, it's still there. Um, yeah, so tomorrow, maybe I'll wear it early tomorrow. I have somewhere to go tomorrow evening that I won't be wearing this though, friend. <laughs> okay, but maybe I'll wear it Sunday and try to get rid of this. It's a lot to get rid of though. That's not like no cup of spray. So anyway, I failed at getting rid of this for this month, but it's all good. And don't worry about it. All right, so I did wear this a couple times this month because I was curious. I couldn't figure out what it was about this fragrance that either I liked or didn't like or the notes that was in it that was driving me wild and that is lust for sun for Juliet has a gun and i figured it out i told y'all it is a white floral with coconut and they, it's like everybody's fighting for attention everybody i'm gonna spray you and then the white floral comes through like i'm here the coconut comes through like uh, -uh i'm here creamy and and then the sharpness of maybe a watery coconut and then some other it was like woods everything and but when it dried down it was like mm, okay however even though it's less of a sun it reminds me of a like just think of a luau late night like that it doesn't remind me of daytime sun it's like when the sun is setting this can get really cloying in the daytime it reminds me of coco vanille mixed with a white floral so if you took cocoa from the mancera that's how thick this is and you mix it with a white floral you know how it would kind of clash a little bit and i mean like a white floral like the imaginary fragrance of magnolia um some jasmine a little two rose you know mixed with that thick syrupy coconut with tiara flower that's what it's, it's like to me clashing but when it dries down it's like I mean, everywhere I go is a scent trail, and I was not expecting that. And I think we're so used to Julia has a gun making a certain type of fragrance and staying in line with the musk and all these other things. And no, ma'am, <laughs> she stepped out the box with this one. So I this just was right here in the forefront because I just kept trying it, and now I feel like I know you. I feel like you're fall for me, fall when the sun is setting. Yes, oh yes. All right, so let's get into this fragrance right here. I don't know why I pulled this out. I don't know why I started wearing it this month because at one point I was sick of it uh, and I just stopped wearing it for a while. And that is all her main and this is Amber Oud Rouge, right? So they do have a ruby out. I haven't tried the ruby yet. Keep saying I'm gonna get it, but it's cheaper than the rouge. The rouge is like 60 something dollars right now. I will not, but this is my third bottle of this fragrance. And I said I was gonna empty it this month and almost there. It's a corner left, almost. But this is a beautiful fragrance. It's basically a clone, a very close to Baccarat Rouge 540 Extra version. And yeah, I put it out one day and sprayed it. And then I sprayed it again. And then I was spraying it and mixing it with other fragrances. Like, man, what are you doing? And I was like, I gotta get rid of some of these fragrances. I got too many in my cabinet. And some of these are like on their last leg. Let's just spray them. And that's where this came into play, okay? All right, so let's get to this next one. I wore this to death in September, June, July july august september whatever this is so good this is from hermetica these are the new bottles that came out and it's on twisted lily the new packaging is gorgeous and this one is a pair this is a beautiful fragrance now if you want to try a sample you can go to twisted lily if you want the new packaging and all the new bottles that they have coming out or have already released go to twisted lily if you're looking for the old fragrances that you that you can't find on the newer sites, right? Because they're old, they are discontinued now. Go, you can go to Fragrance Buy. Some of them have tops, some of them don't because they're like testers or open packaging. But I noticed most of them are like $45, $55 if you're looking for them. They had a pair in there in the old packaging for like 40 something, but it was gone immediately. So whoever got it, kudos to you, friend. I know you smell good. This is a beautiful, sweet pear, fresh, green scent this is good 
If they still had a bottle left, I would get another bottle to have a backup to this. If it was the little $40 bottle. This is good, but this bottle is gorgeous. And y'all know I want it because that age, right? <laughs> you know that. Mm. So this fragrance has been the one I just keep putting on the tray because it's like my no-brainer, my comfortable, feminine, everyday type of throw-on. Like this would be my signature scent if signature scent was a thing for me. And this is from M. Mikolov. And this is a beautiful royal musk fragrance this is a beautiful sensual grown woman's musk scent this is good look at the bottle oh my god this is good yeah this is good it's fall and it's going back on my shelf like i, I mean i will wear the summer spring winter fall like i'm gonna wear this it's very comforting it's very feminine it's so feminine it's so date it's so date like dressed up date clean nails hair bun date or just you 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 ready day you look good you, you are put together day like this not your joggers and a tank top friend you girl this is good this is so good to me all right so a shocker is kayali's uh the wedding scent wore this like crazy told you all before the end of the season this is probably going to be gone before the end of fall this one right here it says it has white musk it has cedar benzoin sandalwood um yeah anyway it has something else in here maybe like a lavender maybe like a myrrh or something like that i've been wearing this like crazy with the zadik inverter this is her these two together is probably like one of my ultimate combinations but as of late i've been wearing this with tom ford white suede but these two yeah I wonder if you can you can't see through this bottle either, huh? Yeah, both of these are gonna be gone. This reminds me of Satan Center from uh, Cat Fun Day. You remember that? <laughs> it don't smell like it. I'm just thinking of the white and black bottle. But anyway, um, this is a really good fragrance. I still feel like uh, for the price, I could have got, got a bigger bottle. Um, yeah, mm, I like the scent though. I probably can find something similar to it. It's not some, something I would purchase again, but it's something I really am enjoying. Okay, and I'm just gonna wear it. It is what it is. I love it. It's just. I love it best with something. It lasts longer to me with something than on its own. And the Dick of Voltaire, this is her, will always be my beautiful sandalwood fragrance that I absolutely love. And if I see this again on sale, I'll just buy another one. Last but not least, y'all know I've been wearing this like crazy all throughout the heat. I don't care how hot it is, I'm gonna wear it. And this is from um, Armand, and this is Club Date de Nuit Imperial. This is a beautiful scent. This is that cross between Delena and Delena Exclusive. I love it. I, I don't care what you say. Mm -mm. <laughs> yes. Yes. This is going to be my fragrance for tomorrow. At first, I was thinking I was going to wear. Um, I wanted to be different. They're not going to wear it. They're going to have this on but me anyway. I wanted to wear the Maison Lancome Roses for Bronze. But tonight, I might spray these two together and see what, it, what it's giving. Because I'm going to be somewhere like crowded. Like a lot of people in a, a night setting where there might be like hookahs and stuff, you need to smell me over the hookah, okay? So we're going to put these two together, see just how explosive they are. But that's my month in a nutshell. September is pretty good to me. I was very disciplined in what I set out for. There was one order I purchased and canceled immediately. I was like, you know better. I know I said I was going to buy this. I'm not doing it. And I did really good and just stepped back from it. Now, today I did make a purchase, and it's only because I was on Fragrance Buy, just hunting for some deals, trying to find something to share with you all. So I did find something on Amazon, and I, I think it was uh, Choco, is it Chocolate Musk? What was it called? It is, mm, I'll put it here. And I told you all I was on sale for $21. Go get it. Go get that. Like, that is a really good fragrance. Something mocha. Cafe mocha, uh, chocolate mocha, choco mocha, something like that. Whatever. It is good. Okay. $21. Come on now. So I was on Fragrance Bob just hunting, looking for like chocolate scents, coffee scents, cafe. Like type, type it in keywords. And the Pacifica, I forget the brand, line popped up. And they had a lot of theirs. What do you call those? Um... I forget the brand name. It's I want to say Pacifico. But that's not the name. I'll put it here. They had a bunch of their testers for eighteen dollars. They're thirty mils, okay. But some of them have tops, some of them don't. I was like under twenty dollars. Click. I was give me all of them. I know I wanted the banana one, and I knew I wanted the vanilla cafe one. 
and there's another one I wanted like a stream vanilla so I just basically went through and just started ordering so I did place an order today couldn't wait to September I'm mean, couldn't wait to October 1 I just felt like if I waited they were going to be gone so once again on the fragrance by website Hermetica is on there it's quite a bit of bottles and I forget the other fragrance I was thinking about getting oh well there's a bunch on there I'll just start sharing them on the community tabs so you'll know what's going on but that's a good deal 40 50 bucks for her medical fragrance that's good that was good all right so anyway i'm out and by the way if you're going to fragrance by now when you go to um refine your search you can search low to high now you can search like we always been able to search price points but Girl, it's the low to high for me. I can't be the only one to go low to high. Then I just skip over a certain dollar amount and get to that dollar amount and just start scrolling. I can't be the only one. <laughs> yeah, that's not just me. Anyway, I'm out. Hope you have an amazing day. It is the weekend. Um, yeah, I'm going to film as much as I can. Once again, I apologize for slacking off for like an entire week. I was just trying to get my fall garden up to par. Plus, we just had a lot of going on around the house. And tomorrow I will be filming all day. So hopefully I can have four videos for you all for next week. I don't even know what I'm filming. Let me know what you want to see. I was thinking about doing a rose video and a vanilla video. So that's like two right there. But I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for hanging out with me. Peace and blessings.